Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan for The Developer Show. Now, this is your weekly source for the coolest developer news from Google. In this last week of the year, we're taking a look back at some of the coolest and biggest announcements that we've covered. Here's your Dev Show 2019 Year in Review. Greetings, Earthlings. My name is Mo uh, Todd with The Developer Show. So your planet still uses streaming video to communicate? Why not just use a mind blork? Huh? Have it your way then. The Android Developer Summit gave us more exciting announcements than you could shake a fluky at. Highlights include new Jetpack libraries for everything from better performance benchmarking to easier camera implementation, a new Compose UI library for creating beautiful native apps, a new advanced Kotlin course on Udacity, and the first Canary build of Android Studio 4.0. It contains a preview of our Compose tooling live preview, code completion, and a full sample of a Compose app. Also included in Android Studio 4.0 Canary 1, we have the sugaring for Java 8, motion editor, full ID support for KTS files, and Kotlin Live templates. After more than a year of development and months of testing by early adopters, we're finally ready to introduce Android 10 to the world. Android 10 is built around three important themes. First, Android 10 is shaping the leading edge of mobile innovation with advanced machine learning and support for emerging devices like foldables and 5G-enabled phones. Next, Android 10 has a central focus on privacy and security, with almost 50 features that give users greater protection, transparency, and control. Finally, Android 10 expands users' digital well-being control so individuals and families can find a better balance with technology. I'm here at Flutter Interact in New York, an event showcasing the power of Flutter to create beautiful apps. First up, Flutter 112 is now available, bringing improvements in how you can add Flutter to existing mobile apps, adding significant polish on Cupertino widgets, and introducing the power of extension methods and the ability to call C code from Dart. The .dev domain is now available to anyone through your registrar of choice. We envision .dev as a home for developers from tools to programming languages and blogs. The Firebase Summit was in Madrid last week. A bunch of useful stuff launched, including Firebase extensions, which are prepackaged bundles of code designed to automate common tasks. And my favorite new launch here at the Firebase Summit is support for web applications in Google Analytics using Firebase SDKs. This makes it much easier to understand the behavior of your users as they switch between the web and mobile versions of your app, and even across devices they use. There were over 120 announcements at Google Cloud Next last week, including the new Seoul and Salt Lake City regions, along with updates across the Google Cloud platform, including hybrid cloud, serverless, API management, storage, networking, security, identity, access management, analytics, AI and machine learning, Chrome Enterprise, and much more. Google Play Points Rewards program is now expanding to the United States, following successful launches in Japan and Korea. Your users can be rewarded for any purchase they make on Play, including apps, games, in-app items, subscriptions, and more. So if your app is on Play billing, users will earn points on your apps and games immediately. Chrome Dev Summit is back again for another year in San Francisco, and there are a bunch of things we're excited to talk about. The first edition of the Web Almanac has just launched. The Almanac combines extensive HTTP archive data for millions of URLs with the expertise of many top contributors in the web ecosystem. It's an annual State of the Web report containing 20 chapters that covers every major aspect of the web, including page content, user experience, and content distribution. With the Google Maps platform for gaming, we use the power of Google Maps and our real-time global understanding of the world to take mobile gaming to the next level. We're making new features available to build gameplay that's even more contextualized and more engaging, including biome, elevation, and pathfinding. TensorFlow 2.0 Alpha is here. This new version of TensorFlow is about providing simple and easy to use higher level APIs focused on Keras and eager execution. The big announcement came at the TensorFlow Dev Summit in Sunnyvale, California this last week. This is really the biggest announcement of the summit. TF 2.0 is all about making TensorFlow simple and easy to use with higher level APIs focused on Keras and eager execution. So responsibility to our users was the first core part of the Android Developer Keynote. Now, how does this relate to developers? Well, 
users trusting the platform is inherently important to developers. You know, downloading an app is something we all want users to feel comfortable doing. And that's why we've given users more control over their identity, around how apps run in the background, and about how apps share storage with each other. And this is running, is this running on Unity? It's or, running on Unity. And so now Crashlytics for Unity will actually let me, as a developer, find out if there are crashes in my game and where they're happening. Exactly. So you can go through, find your stack trace, mm -hmm. and then narrow in on the, the bugs that are affecting your game. We're here at Shoreline Amphitheater, where there's a bunch of really cool demos and exhibits and fun things to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you on a live guided tour of all the really cool stuff here. Oh, wow, look, so you can see all these augmented reality flowers on here. And what's really cool what you can do with a 360 video when you're sitting in a motorcycle that feels so incredibly realistic. Hey! Hi, Hi. Hi. Oh, that was good. Oh, I could do it right here, is that cool? Sure. <laughs> we got a unicorn! What? I want to go dancing! All right, let's do it! <laughs> what do you want to see next year? AR dog walking? Fox to trap? AR dog walking. You heard it here first. It's our next trend. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Timothy Jordan, and on behalf of the whole Dev Show team, Happy New Year. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in 2020. <laughs> My name's on this, but upside down. Check it out. <laughs>